I was actually in London at LinkedIn's headquarters. Uh, they're a very nice part of London. It's just off Oxford Street, Cavendish Square. I don't know if you know it, but I shudder to think what the rates are in that place. And uh, why I was there was it was for their European partners and one of their partners, uh, LinkedIn partner. And it was an all day affair and corporate entertainment in the evening, very nice meal, just off a restaurant in Piccadilly called Moo Moo. Sounds a bit strange, but very nice restaurant. Anyway, throughout the whole day, there was one thing that kept coming across to me and I thought, what, what is LinkedIn really about? How could I describe it in three words? Because I can't remember anything more than three words. So what's this one thing that would describe LinkedIn in three words? And I thought about it and I couldn't get it. And then last night, I was listening to a broadcast by Jeff Weiner. And Jeff Weiner is the CEO of LinkedIn. He's, he's the top guy. And of course, he managed to describe LinkedIn in three words. And basically what it was, or what he said was, LinkedIn is providing economic opportunity. Providing economic opportunity. And what they mean by that is any members that are on LinkedIn have an opportunity to develop their business and their careers if they're on LinkedIn. So it's very, very powerful. And that's what I want to talk about this today. Three points I want to cover. And they're basically visibility, credibility, and profitability. Because if you're visible, people at least know you're there. Because that's the first thing. They have to know your business is there. It was girl I was talking to earlier there, she had an art gallery, but you have to know the art gallery's there, because how are you going to bring people in to grow your business if you don't know your art gallery's there? So visibility is important. Credibility is very important, because once they find you on LinkedIn, you have to be creditable. Why should I use your business? Why should I use your products and services? And then when you're visible and credible, you can become profitable. So let's have a wee look at that. See, can we do a wee strategy? So, if I come up here and I put in V for visibility, C for credibility, and P for profitability, V, C, P. So, how can you be visible in LinkedIn? Two key ways, very simple. You need a personal profile. So basically, your personal profile, I'm Bill McCartney, I have a personal profile, it's me, human being, what I do, what my career was, and what I can offer you in my summary, I write and I say, I do this, that, and the other. So it's a personal profile, it's about me. So that's one key for visibility. The other key, and it's becoming more and more important in LinkedIn, is a company page. So, um, LinkedIn are spending more and more money on this. This is becoming more and more important. So you should have both. My company is Net for Wise Isles. So my company page, it's Net for Wise Isles. I use my logo, which is a little aisle. And that's on the company page. On the profile, it's me. It's a head and shoulder photograph. But you use both to give you visibility. And all this, by the way, is free. Free is good. Mm -hmm. Isn't that right? Yeah. <laughs> so... You've got your personal profile, you've got your company page. How are you going to get credibility? Well, the first thing you do is you need to put out regular updates. And when I'm on my personal profile, my home page on my personal profile, I will write an update. Hi, I've just written a blog post in 10 tips how to use LinkedIn. Send that out. People think, wow, that guy, Bill McCartney, knows a wee bit about LinkedIn. That blog post was very helpful. I'm trying to improve my credibility. What, you are all experts in your own area. You're all experts. And you've all got knowledge to share. And the thing is, share the knowledge. Because if you give, it will come back to you. <laughs> well, it stopped. That's OK. Nope. I bet you. <laughs> right, so 
share your knowledge. And I put the updates out as me, as Bill McCartney. But the other thing I do is I put updates out from my company page. And now I'm writing as the company, Net for Wise Isles, so my logo is attached to the update. And my strategy is quite simple. I'm trying to encourage people to follow my company page. So someone mentioned just before I came in, Bill, I was on your company page. I have 10 videos on how to use LinkedIn on my company page. He said they were brilliant. So if you go to my company page now and you follow me, you'll see these 10 videos on LinkedIn. The videos are only about one to two minutes long and they cover all aspects of LinkedIn. So I'm giving value. I'm saying, you often hear, like my page, and I'm thinking, why? You've got to give people a reason. So I'm trying to grow my following in that and I'm trying to grow my connections. And I'm giving what I call quality updates. The other thing for credibility, and it's very important, is groups. And most people have heard of LinkedIn groups, and they are very, very powerful. So again, within a group, and most people will join a group, I would suggest you join five to 10 groups to start with, and you say, well, how do you know which one to join? Think about your own industry, first of all, where you've got your own expertise, but then think beyond that. So I was talking to a quantity surveyor, and, I, and he says, Bill, I want to get some leads. And I said, well, who would be your client? He says, well, I do, I do a lot of work with solicitors. There's a lot of solicitors involved, quantity surveying. I said, right, join a couple of their groups. Start listening for an opportunity where they're having difficulties and maybe need a quantity surveyor. Join that conversation. So you need to think about what groups you're in. Another way to find the groups is look at the groups your competitors are in. So if you were a competitor of mine on social media, you could have a look and say, I wonder what groups Bill's in. Doesn't mean they're the groups you have to join, but it gives you a starting point. So groups have great influence. The other thing to do is to start your own group. So if I was in sales, I would maybe have sales Northern Ireland or Northern Ireland sales. My own group is Northern Ireland social media. So I started that. There's almost a thousand people in it. I have influence with people in social media. I can send out a broadcast to all those people once a week and I've got a lot of control and influence. So groups are very powerful. So you've, the next thing we want to do is to make it profitable. So we need to generate leads. And what we do there is something fairly simple. You can build a landing page on your website and you can direct people to it. So I can might say, hi, um, send out an update here. I've got a free ebook on how to use LinkedIn. People say, all oh, right, a free ebook, how to use LinkedIn. Um, and I asked them to give me their name and their email address so I can collect leads, visitors that are coming to the site. Again, I do that through the updates and I can do that through the groups. Another thing to be profitable is, is search. And it's one area of LinkedIn that very few people use properly. The trouble with social media is there's a lot of noise. Everybody is out sending out stuff. So you have to funnel it down. You have to funnel down and get key people. So what I might do is I might say, right, I'm going to run a course for solicitors in Belfast. So I type in the word solicitor. It comes back and there's, I don't know, 50,000 solicitors. I think, right, I want it only within Belfast. It channels it down to maybe 100 out of that 50,000 and said, right, and so there's different ways that I can search to get ideal clients that I think would be a good lead for me to contact. And I was talking to a friend just before I come in here. You can send out an introduction to them free of charge, or you can pay a very small fee and use what's called an in-mail, which allows you to write to them. So search is important. You can search for potential contacts. You can also direct and influence people to come to a landing page where you have a call to action. So that's basically it in a nutshell. And if you want to put some figures on it, somebody says, well, Bill, how much time should I spend on LinkedIn? Right? So the way I do is I tend to work backwards. I look at what I want to achieve. So if I say I want to achieve, I don't know, a thousand pounds a month will be modest, a thousand pounds a month business on LinkedIn. What I do basically as I say, to generate a thousand pounds, I only need one client. I believe that if I get one client, 
I can generate a thousand pounds of business. There was one of my clients, he was generating 20 to 30 thousand pounds per client. So he didn't do very many, and I'm in the wrong business. <laughs> but <laughs> let's, let's say a thousand pounds. So I need one client, right? It's going to generate a thousand pounds. You then have to go back into this and say, right, how many leads would I need to get that one client? Because this is like inbound marketing, I'm not blasting out advertising, you would need four leads. Generally, it's about one in four if they're quality leads. So how many visitors do I need? Well, we'll say 100. So I need to capture 100 emails, convert that into four leads, and convert that into one client. I'm just doing this because I only have 10 minutes to tell you this. There's a lot more to it than that. But I'm giving you a broad outline of how I use LinkedIn to make money. When I do all this, I then say, well, how often do I have to be updating and in groups to generate 100 visitors? And it usually works out at least one hour a day, five days a week, which is 20 hours a week, or 20 hours a month, can't add. So it's 20 hours a month. 20 hours a month gives me 1,000 pounds. And I did the maths before I came in, because I'm not very good at maths. It's 50 pounds an hour I'm paying myself. You can cut this in different ways, but that gives you a rough idea. You need to think the income or revenue you want to achieve, and you need to work backwards. And that will tell you how much time you have to spend. Then you can say after a few months, is this working? Yeah, it is, or no, it's not. So you do some analysis, because it's very important to look at the data. And you come back up here and say, OK, how can I improve my personal profile, my company page, my updates, my groups, and so on and so on, to filter down to get that money? That's it in a nutshell. And just, when I finish, just before I finish this, because we'll take some questions, um, I want you to do three things for me, if you wouldn't mind. First of all, connect with me on LinkedIn. I have 1,200 connections. If you connect with me, you will automatically have those as your second connection. Follow my company page, because I have the videos on there for you. The company page is Net for Wise Isles. And join Northern Ireland Social Media, because Northern Ireland Social Media, we share social media information. And remember, LinkedIn provides you with an economic opportunity. So thank you very much for your time. Um, we'll take some questions. <laughs>